Good morning! This is Bo Rogers here. Um, I got a box in the mail today and uh, I can't show you the address on here or anything like that because I went to my mom's house and you don't need to know where my mother lives. So it is what it is. So I'm a big time phone person. Um, after I graduated from the University of North Texas with a degree in communications, I had a friend who got me a job at AT&T Wireless. I had waited tables all the way through high school. And working at AT&T Wireless, uh, my buddy Chase Campbell got me the job there. I enjoyed it. I worked in direct mail, direct response. And it was my first real job. Like, I really enjoyed it. It was so grown up uh, compared to waiting tables. Like, I felt almost guilty the money that I made at this place. Uh, because like, I felt like I didn't work very hard because I was used to working my ass off <laughs> waiting tables uh, at restaurants to make money. But um, I really enjoyed my job working at AT&T Wireless. Uh, I did it for, for seven years. Like, I truly enjoyed the technology and the coolness of having like a grown up job. I, I was amazed. Um, I think after college, like, um, I think we all feel entitled to something great. Well, it, it actually did happen for me. Like, I, I felt like I was doing something great. But, in this box today is my new toy. I'm super excited about it. Uh, the current toy that I'm using is this one. It's the iPhone 11. And this has been an awesome phone because I went from a iPhone 6S all the way to 11 my friend jared ty is like what the hell are you doing filming these damn videos with this iphone 6s you're way behind on technology he's 100 percent right he worked at at&t too so he knows but the progression of the iphone is incredible to me uh, most people don't know this but the first true iphone was actually this Motorola rocker it's the e1 so this was the first introduction i ever had to itunes and I was hooked. Um, this phone was a great phone. Like I highly enjoyed this phone. I know on the package that it's, it's, it was a white phone because it, it was, the coloring was white, uh, but I bought the Euro package and made it black because it's a sticky, um, a sticky black material. But this was my first introduction to the iPhone. I think this thing probably held like 25 songs or something like that. But I thought it was the coolest thing ever because it had iTunes on it. It had a camera so I could take pictures and it was a functional phone. Like it, it was always the phone first, especially back then. Uh, because you're talking like 2007-ish, I think. 2007, maybe 2006 even. Hang on, I might say right here on the box. Um, there's no date. I want to say it was 2006, but this thing was an amazing, this was phone, this was my first introduction to an Apple product, and it was awesome. Like, I was hooked. However, <laughs> when everybody freaked out when they, they released the first iPhone, the first time I ever saw it was in 2006. I went to the AT&T Summit, uh, which was held in Orlando, Florida, for top salespeople. Uh, so these top salespeople, they, it was a paid for trip. You got to bring a friend. At the time, I'd just gotten married and I, I took my wife and the people that worked for AT&T got together in this enclosed room and these people from Apple came in with this like really cool, like secretive box. Like it was really cool. And they, they pulled it open and then they're like, oh, uh. <laughs> so I didn't buy the first iPhone. And the reason why I didn't buy the first iPhone, it didn't work on 3G network. And I already had phones that were working on 3G networks. I think I was using an HTC, or maybe I was using the Blackjack 2 by Samsung at the, at the time. However, my final day at AT&T is when they released uh, the iPhone 3G. So this was my last day and I did buy the iPhone 3G, and I thought it was the, the cool, most innovative thing I'd ever played with. The speed was good, and it was actually like a true web browser to where these other phones were using uh, not the true web browsing, and uh, th this phone had like 
true web browsing. It was amazing. And then of course from there you upgrade every year. Who didn't back then? The phones were subsidized. Even though the iPhones were always kind of expensive, you know, compared to other phones, 300, something like that dollars, it was worth it. Here's an iPhone 4, 4, uh, here's a 4S, here's a 5, 5S, 6S, I never got a 6, and uh, another 6S, I got two because my 6S actually crapped out on me. Like this was probably the crappiest phone I've ever had. The biggest innovation in the iPhone back in the day was the 5S. It was your first touch uh, fingerprint to open the phone. Like that. It was really innovative and it was uh, bigger obviously than the iPhone 4. Uh, so you had more screen to work with and it's progressively gotten bigger. And the iPhone 11 has been a great phone for me, but now they're at 5G. So you went from 3G uh, to 4G, 4G, and now we're at 5G. So they had a really good, they've got a really good deal going, especially if you're a customer of AT&T to where you can trade in your old phone. So even though this phone is a year old, this 11, um, they're, they're basically giving you the, what's in this box at uh, no big cost uh, when you trade in your phone. And I was pleasantly surprised that they're actually giving really good discounts on from iPhone 8 all the way to the 11. They're giving you an incentive to get the 5G phone. So here we go. Are y'all ready for this? I'm ready for this. I've been waiting since yesterday. Um, Nicole brought it over. She stopped by my mom's house, picked it up for me. And I hadn't opened this box yet. But now we are going to open it. Um, lots of tape. And that's what the knife is for. Open this puppy up. Oh, yeah. and here it is. Here's my iPhone 12. Uh, so I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm gonna open this thing up and put my SIM card in. And you make it so simple now to transfer your data from one phone to the next with the AT&T transfer app. Uh, it's a barcode. So once I open this up, charge it up, I'm just gonna hit that barcode, all my stuff will transfer over. I'll transfer over the SIM card from this phone, super easy. But uh, here's my new phone, iPhone 12, here we go. Hope everybody's having an awesome day.